Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm doing Isabel's hair. I'm sorry I didn't get this video up yesterday, but I was busier than expected, so oh well. Now, thing. this is Isabel's hairpiece thing. It's nice. For a better look at it, go to my um, Isabel review of Isabel video. And it's not like cheap or anything too. So now to the actual putting it in. Now the first loop is right above this ear. So we're gonna kind of part right here, there, and there it is. So you're gonna take the only unobvious thing in this video, which is bobby pins. You're gonna take your bobby pins, which are very useful, by the way, bobby pins and loop it through. Just one bobby pin, just to mark it, like that. Now you're gonna turn and the back, this one's the hardest to find. But I'll probably find it pretty soon. That's just my dog. Anyways, yeah, here it is. Sorry about the barking. He's insane. Now you're gonna take this and take, you know, these are little loops, you're gonna take the bottom or whatever of the bobby pin and loop it through just to mark it. Then on this side, this one isn't above on the other like on the other one. It's actually a little to the back of the ear. See this is her ear, this is the loop. You're gonna take this and mark it with the bobby pin. It's really rather useful to mark it with a bobby pin, just so you don't lose your spot and then have to start all over again. Anyways, so you're going to take the thingy. Here's the thingy, which is the hair piece. Which, by the way, isn't really an ombre. It's just like highlights. Now, you're going to go back to the first loop. And unpin it. Then, kind of pin this piece on the side out of the way then take this piece kind of twist it up and then pin it out of the way as well does not matter if it's neat or not I mean seriously look at my doll right now she's a mess and that's what hairbrushes are for guys now you're going to take this Take the little clip and loop it in there. And then you can just unpin this and take and then unpin that too. Now here's my doll's absurdly messy hair right now. Anyway, so you're going to take this section and pin it out of the way. You can also use jaw clips for this if you want. Pin, then take this, hmm. remove the bobby, and just pin this in there. I mean, loop this in there, sorry. So it's like that, nice and snug. And make sure that this side is still looped as well. Then take this pin out, let the hair fall. If you don't like your hair, get it, your doll's hair getting messy at all, then this is not for you. Then, the last section, you're going to take this section of hair, take out this pin, pin this up, and just loop that in there. Then you're done. Well, except for brushing your hair, of course. Now, just take her. Brush out her hair. Oh, joy. Now, I have occurred a problem. This piece of hair is not supposed to stick up. So, to fix that problem, hmm. For the sake of time, I'm just going to leave it there. If you actually want to run into that, though, take, take this clip out and stick this under or over, or however it's supposed to go. 
For the sake of time, of course, I'm just going to brush it there and pretend it doesn't exist. For the sake of your eyeballs, pretend this doesn't exist. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to make it look nicer. And then you're done. So the best way to show her highlights is not to see them from the back, but to kind of like lay her hair like that. And then you can kind of see them stick out. And two pigtails are good too. So, that's it. Now, I saw my other video that the people were complimenting me and saying they subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It makes my day when somebody subscribes. I love you guys, subscribers. Like my family. No, not really. But, thank you so much, so, so, so much. That's awesome. Like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye. Hope this helped.